Well, greetings to each one of you. I hope uh, this little moment in time that we get to spend together uh, finds you in a good place in your walk with the Lord. Well, you know what? You are in a good place because you're right where you should be no matter what's happening, uh, going on in and around your life, and God has you at a spot where you can just hear from Him. So we're going to open up our Bibles, Ezekiel 8, 12. Remember, Ezekiel speaking to a people who are rebellious. Now, he, God has revealed to him to go all the way to the top of the uh, leadership group within um, uh, the, the nation of Israel, God's people, to these elders and leaders. And, and man, it's a grievous thing. He finds them trapped in all kinds of sin and pornographic issues and all this stuff. I mean, it's just total idol worship. All this stuff is going on. And so now we hit verse 12, and it says, then God said to me, son of man, speaking to Ezekiel, you have seen what the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark. He says, I I've shown you what's going on. Every man in the room of his idols. He says, these guys, you can see what they're doing within the context of their idolatry, their worship of these idols. And most of the idol worship involves sexual perversity and all kinds of things. That was just a, a, a normal aspect of idol worship. It was part of idol worship. And he says, for they say, this is, this is what the leaders are saying. They say, the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land says, God's not interested in what we're doing. He doesn't care about it. As a matter of fact, he doesn't even see it. One, that's the furthest thing from the truth. God is omniscient. He's all-knowing, so he sees all of that, and he's omnipresent. He's everywhere at all times. So these are two facts about God. So, that being said, God does see and God does know. So that's important for you. That's important for me. God knows what's going on in my life and in your life. God knows what's going on in the privacy of our own minds. And we need to be careful that we bring, the Bible says, to bring every thought into the captivity of Christ. And so this kind of brings me up to this, this thought of what does that mean to be held captive? You know, that word captive, to be held captive, to bring every thought into captivity, to be captivated, is kind of an interesting thing. It's like arrest, arrested or stopped right there. But this idea is what is it that captivates you? If you've heard of ever heard of what happens when you're at a ball game and you're wanting to go get a hot dog or something and uh, you are a captive audience <laughs> there, you know, all of a sudden what should cost you a buck or two is now costing you five or eight bucks for a hot dog, right? Well, it's because you're a captive audience. You're there, you're in the stadium, this is what they're gonna charge for that. Whether that's right or wrong, good or bad, whatever. But the idea is you're, you're, you're captive in that situation, in, the, in that sense. Sometimes you can be sitting on a plane next to someone and they are and you are a captive audience with one another, where are you gonna go, right? So here, this idea of bringing every thought into that captivity, God knows all of it. And so what we want to do is we want to be captivated by Jesus. He, if we are captivated, I'm absorbed just looking at him, worshiping him, I'm not going to have time for all this other nonsense of idol worship and everything else, right? So bring it into captivity, knowing that it's in the light. If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. The light is based on our understanding that we, we need forgiveness of sin. And so we want to be forgiven. We want to live a life of forgiveness. We want to challenge other people to come into that light. They're, work, they're doing all that they're doing in the darkness. And they think because it's in the darkness, God doesn't see. But God sees right through all of that. God bless you. Think on those truths and let your light so shine that they might glorify your Father in heaven. God bless you. Have a great day.